by the year 2000, Ghislaine Maxwell appears to have moved to a $5 million mansion on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, about five blocks south of Jeffrey Epstein's mansion. He was in her life, for sure. But she was living in her place, and he was living in his place. So they were not a couple in that sense. I do believe she fell in, in love with him uh, to the point where she wanted to marry him, and it was Epstein who did not want to marry. At some point, their relationship became more of a business relationship where she has admitted in depositions that she managed his far-flung properties. I hired assistants, I hired architects, I hired decorators, I hired cooks, I hired cleaners, I hired gardeners. Ghislaine was asked if she had ever hired massage therapists for Jeffrey Epstein. From time to time, I would visit professional spas. I would receive a massage, and if the massage was good, I would ask that man or woman if they did home visits. We met at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. This tall woman, polished, clean cut, just comes waltzing in, said, hi, my name is Ghislaine, nice to meet you. Shantae Davies was 21 years old, training to be a massage therapist. And she says that one day she's asked by her instructor to come join her for a massage appointment. I mean, she was friendly and warm. She wanted to know where I was from, what my plans were for my life. So we finished our session, and then she offered to have me fly out for the weekend to work as her masseuse in Palm Beach. I was 22 years old, and it was going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, traveling the world, being a personal private massage therapist. Teresa Helm, who filed a lawsuit against Jeffrey Epstein's estate, says that she was also studying to be a masseuse in the early 2000s, and that she was approached with a job offer to work for a wealthy couple. I was told Miss Maxwell was the one that would be who I'm hired for, and you will go meet her in New York City and interview with her. I walked to Miss Maxwell's townhouse. I was let in, and I was immediately directed to go up the stairs. She came out and she introduced herself to me and, you know, right away she was very polite, she was well-spoken, and then it was like, okay, let's do the massage now. There was a certain point where you know, she fell asleep, so I'm thinking it's going really well. <laughs> she then went on to tell me that there was a second part to the interview. You're going to go meet my partner, Jeffrey. And that was the first time I had heard anything about meeting anyone else. She told me to give Jeffrey what he wants, because Jeffrey always gets what he wants. After we landed in Palm Beach, I just remember Gillen and I driving in the Mercedes with the top down and having this talk on the way to the mansion. She was explaining that her partner was sort of the Ralph Lauren type, and did I like that type? Getting out of the car as we pulled into the garage, she turned to me and said, just do whatever he likes, and you won't have a problem. I walked up to this really uh, elaborate door. It seemed very castle-like to me. So I was let in, and Jeffrey said, come on with me to my office. And we walk into that office room, and, and then he asked me for a foot massage, and he puts his foot up on my leg. And I start giving him a foot massage. I got the massage table out and got it all set up. Jeffrey came in gave me a little once over. I started the massage and he was asking me questions, how I liked massage school. He flipped over and he asked if I minded if he touched himself. And I freeze. I just, I remember being so confused. I remember not knowing whether or not Gilan knew. I didn't know what to say, I said, sure. He starts pushing his foot closer and closer to me and to the point where his foot is literally pressing up against my body. And he grabbed my chin in his hand and he said to me, I know I can always trust a woman who shows her gums when she smiles. I was very scared. And so I get up from the couch and I start, you know, walking towards the door and he grabbed me from behind and 
I just completely froze, and he assaulted me in the hallway. When I made it to the door, he said to me, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. I took that as a direct threat, you know. Teresa and Shantae's stories end very differently. Teresa says that she never spoke to them again. Shantae says that she continued to occasionally work for and travel with Epstein and Maxwell, and she says that Epstein sexually assaulted her on multiple occasions. I had already come from a background in which I had been taught to accept abuse. It just became a situation where I just got deeper, deeper into it, and I didn't know how to pull myself out, really. I mean, now looking back, I definitely feel like, how did I not see that Gilan was, you know, the puppeteer in it all? Gilan Maxwell is a master manipulator. She knew how she was playing me. She knew how she was setting me up. She knew exactly that she was delivering me to the home of a predator. Teresa and Shantae are not part of the criminal case against Gilan Maxwell, and they didn't file lawsuits against Maxwell. So Maxwell has never formally responded to their claims. But Maxwell has broadly denied any wrongdoing. Every allegation should be taken seriously. But that doesn't mean every allegation should be believed without questioning, without scrutiny. Galen has never admitted to any wrongdoing because she's not done anything wrong. She's been fighting about this now in civil and criminal litigation, saying she's innocent. In 2020, Teresa Helm accepted an offer from Epstein's Victims Compensation Fund and agreed to withdraw her lawsuit against Jeffrey Epstein's estate. Ghislaine Maxwell was able to live with relative anonymity, but all of that is about to change. Next tonight, disturbing allegations. A woman claims that Maxwell groomed her to be a sex slave to Epstein and was trafficked to some of his most powerful associates. She has a photograph in Ghislaine Maxwell's apartment with Prince Andrew. This is a terrific tale. Cruella de Vil, the daughter of Bob Maxwell. Let's add another president here. Let's add a prince there. It's a concoction, an invention. Galen holds the keys. She's the keeper of many secrets. I ask you about the, the, all the allegations that have come out, Galen. Happy New Year. Do you know Virginia? Is it possible on any level that you just don't know your sister that well? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.